Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. Another icon nameplate is getting ready to go electric. An electrified Corvette will be available next year with a fully electric Corvette to follow. No other details on a precise timeline or whether electrified means it will be a plug-in hybrid, but General Motors did confirm that the traditional Corvette with an internal combustion engine will remain available. Catalytic converters are becoming more and more attractive to thieves. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, catalytic converter thefts have increased from about 1,300 in 2018 to 52,000 in 2021. The cost of the precious metals in catalytic converters has skyrocketed, making converters appealing to thieves. They can make anywhere from $25 to $300 on a standard converter and up to $1,400 for a hybrids. More precious metals are needed for a hybrids catalytic converter. Some ways to protect your vehicle include parking in a well-lit area or garage, or even installing a catalytic converter anti-theft device. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is looking into higher speeds for some of its testing. They're considering increasing the speed used to evaluate automatic braking systems, as it looks for ways to encourage better technology that can prevent more severe front-to-rear crashes. Right now, their vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle front crash prevention test is conducted at 12 to 25 miles per hour, but they're looking into upping that to 35 to 45 miles per hour. Now for even more daily news updates and complete road tests, click on the search tab on the MotorWeek website. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and find us on YouTube to stay up to date on all the latest. And that does it for this week's Motor News.